Yo, what's cracking everyone? I am Mr. Former Simpson. Thank you for tuning in once again. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. And with that said, let's jump right into the Jordan 30. These release February 12th for 200 bucks for anyone who is interested. And I know right off the bat, this shoe is very similar to the Jordan 29. And I know some people think that they didn't change them enough from the 29, especially with it being the 30th shoe. And I get that, that's fair. Having said that, I love them. I've been obsessed with the 29 since it first dropped. I think it was the best basketball sneaker of all time performance wise. And I say was because I think these are gonna be even better. I mean, I guess they could have changed them a little more aesthetically to make them look different, but I'm glad they did not mess with the tech much. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Nothing is worse than falling in love with a particular sneaker and the very next model is completely different. As far as these go though, the fit is a little snug, more so than the 29. If you don't like that type of fit, you might wanna go a half size up, but I think most people are gonna to wanna to stay with their regular size. That's what I did. Just realize it's more of a glove-like fit. Comfort-wise, they feel great. Pretty similar to the 29, but again, with a more hug your foot type of feel. They used a performance woven upper again, but they mixed it with fly knit. There's also this padding on the inside of the shoe right around the Achilles area, and then the ankle collar, as you can see, with a really high lace loop that locks you in. I think support and lockdown on these is gonna be even better than the 29. And on the toe box, they used almost this holographic type material, but it's thicker and a little more rugged, so I think that's gonna help with durability, especially for players who are hooping outside a lot. The cushioning setup is flight plate, which is the same as the 29, and a lot of other recent Jordan models, they've been using that a bunch lately, and rightfully so. I love it. I think it's the best setup out there right now. So again, I am glad they did not change it just to say they changed it. Overall, I think it's a great sneaker. I think it's gonna be an absolute beast on the court and I am very excited to hoop in them. And there you have it, my initial thoughts on the Jordan 30, some of the tech they used and what you can expect. Thank you for watching as always. Stay tuned for the full performance review. In the meantime, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All those links will be in the description. Not too much else to talk about right now. So until next time, Mr. Former Simpson, I'm out.